Hi there, this is Kavin once again, a very warm welcome to Hack Announce and guys in this video, I am gonna show you how you can integrate a IoT device on a Splunk. So guys, Splunk is a big data tool by which you can monitor the logs and here we are going to monitor this whole IoT device system by which we are able to see whether the, what is the state of this, what is the status of this IoT device, whether this uh, sensor is sending any false alarm or it is send, or what is the data it is sending. And here we have used the HTTP event collector of Splunk and if you don't know how what are these things please let me know I will discuss them little detail in next video so here I'm just gonna show you the demo of the project that I recently created so guys let's uh, move forward to the dashboard that I created here you can see here I'm having this IOT monitor dashboard in which currently it shows IOT device status off and the network status in this network status is for whether the network is uh, wrong or right so if you can see currently I am using a using a uh, hotspot name uh, Kevin if I just change the network uh, because this is a network of the IOT device and if I change it to change it to any other like Balkan now you can see what will happen so guys now I have cha successfully changed the network to another Wi-Fi network now you can see here we are having two things one this IOT device is not plugged in here we are having this power I haven't plugged in yet and here it is connected with some other network and because of that you can see in dashboard it is real time showing it is a network error now first of all let's resolve this network error so for that what you can do uh, we can just directly select it to the network that is of IOT device so as I select uh, it is just getting select, uh, selected to that network and within a real time within one minute it, its status will get changed so the thing is here like first of all uh, we are just pinging the IP of this uh, this IOT device controller and the router in between all those things now you can see it is showing the uh, the uh, IOT whole device setup is off and it is a uh, network shader is showing that IOT device is powered off so now let's power on this IOT device so for that I just need to plug in the this power plug now you can see as a power plug the power is over here and this will get connect to uh, my this uh, router and within a one minute of span it will get connected. now you can see that's BAM here we are having the it shows that IOT device status on and the device ping got succeed it means the whole my network is now right there is no issue so guys now you can see here we are having four panels in this IOT dashboard one is for what is the what is the status of IOT device net, then net, next is the network status so it is showing device ping succeed it means the there is no issue with network now next is we next panel we are having is the sensor false alarm then how much false alarm does, does this sensor send so now you can see currently it doesn't send any false alarm and the uh, sensor value is 20 for now you can see if I change this uh, actually this sensor is send, sending a distance so if I just change it to somewhere this distance will get decrease or increase wait I will show within a span it should get decrease and increase fit it so that's BAM guys now you can see here the dist object distance got changed now it is showing 126 and the trend is also showing that what is the trend in the sensor values so currently we are having a availability of ultrasonic sensor that's why I have used it but in place of this if you are having a fire sensor or any gas sensor you can easily monitor their logs and get it whether the value whether the sensor is sending any false alarm because false alarm is one of the important thing in the IoT device not only not only the false alarm also the power status if the device got powered off that nobody get to know that whether the uh, device is working so guys this is the whole project that I recently created and the whole source code of this project is the description of the video you can get a whole detailed blog guide I will upload it within the uh, one to two days after uploading this video and uh, yeah so that's it if you like please don't forget to like subscribe and com comment and if you have any query please try comment out I will try to sort it out as soon as possible and if you want a detailed video on this how I created it then please let me know I will surely uh, glad to hear it from you so bye bye